Hi, it's Nick Thornsbury, and in this week's video, I'm going to be showing you a triplet lick I like to use. So I'll play it once for you, and then I'll break it down. So it's pretty simple, but you got uh, the cymbal choke in there and then these hand to foot alternating triplets that kind of make it a little difficult. So the sticking, uh, you start out with alternating triplets, right, left, right, left on the snare drum. And the whole lick is a group of five triplets. And the first group you do on the snare drum, you're going to do four notes, trip, o, let, trip, o, let. So the first two are split up between the tom and the snare drum. Like that. And then the third triplet group is just right, foot, foot. So like that. So I'll play those together. Like that. And then after that, you're going to do the choke, the cymbal choke, where you want to make sure that you're able to do this without hurting yourself because a lot of times when I reach up for it, I hit my thumb and it goes underneath the nail and like makes you bleed profusely, so avoid that. Um, and once you do the cymbal choke, you're going to do these hand to foot alternating triplets, which is just trip, oh, let, trip, oh, let, one, like that. So it's like trip, oh, let, trip, oh, let, one. So I'll play the whole thing. Like that. And if you don't want to do the cymbal choke and you want to kind of have something a little easier, just replace it with the tom uh, like this. Like that. Both of them work just the same, and you know, you can kind of use that as your training wheels to get into the cymbal choke one. So uh, when I practice this, you're going to have to know how to do those hand to hand or hand to foot I mean uh, triplet deals and the way I would practice those is just by doing this like that so though, even though those are a 16th note feel you can it's the same technique for when you bring it to triplets and you want to make sure that you're able to do them very even, just like you would with single strokes. Like, and you don't want to start flamming like this. And start to flam and go in unison. So you want to keep them really even. Start them out real slow around the kit and then gradually build up. And you're going to have to get a good balance point on your, uh, like a sweet spot on your bass drum pedal for these when you start to get fast because uh, in order to keep them really even, you're going to have to have a nice nice sweet spot where it's just like a single stroke roll where you lock in and then it kind of flows so you're not working too hard. So uh, work on that. Like that. And then also you're going to want to have doubles uh, in your bass drum. like. like that and make sure it's a true triplet instead of like a 16th note like make sure it's and make it really even and once you have those two you can put the lick together so I'll play it one more time all the way through and then I'll play it in context again
right, so that time when I was playing, I just kind of started the lick in different places each time and kind of added some other stuff so you can see how versatile it is. And this one's kind of fun because it is groups of five triplets, so five groups, uh, so you can play over the bar line with it instead of having just a one measure length uh, fill. You have one measure plus an extra triplet group, so another beat. So get uh, creative with the placement on this one, the phrasing, and have fun with it. So if you have any questions, feel free to message me or comment or whatever. And thanks a lot for watching.